why am I sitting here? Why am I in this stupid room? Well, I borrowed this room from someone and I felt like it was much necessary. Because you, Michael, you need therapy. You're not the first one to tell me that. No, I'm pretty sure I'm probably not the first, probably not the last either. Okay, so what? I mean, you just, I mean, you're just gonna bring someone in to talk? This is about Circus Baby and us, you know, like, what? I know there's a lot of weird stuff with our family tree, but I don't think that it needs to have a discussion. Family tree aside, by the way, you do need to work with her and figure out what the proper family tree is, because I feel like some of that was wrong or something of that that's probably misconstrued or something. Uh, whatever. But anyway, no, it's not Circus Baby you're meeting with today to get the therapy session done. Yo! What? Oh, no, why is he here? I asked my son, Gregory, to come here. Ugh. So, um, I heard there's supposed to be, like, ice cream or something here. Yeah, I'll be giving you- I'll be taking you to, like, Dairy Queen after. Oh my god, why do you look like stuff? So, st did you see that? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when you- look how scary he looks in this shadow. Here, Michael, come stand right here, and then Freddy walk up to him. Oh, I do see that. Ew. <gasps> Ew! Okay, anyways, I'm ready for- what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why is he here? Therapy. I was promised ice cream. That's why therapy. I'm here. I don't want to talk to him. Yes, therapy, because the the rivalry hatred between you two is getting a little annoying for all parties involved. Hey, I don't even hate him. He just hates me for no reason. I didn't. No do, I reason. Guess. Yeah, no reason. What I no do? No reason. Really, no reason. Really. Should I take my glasses off? <sighs> I don't care. Take yeah, your just, glasses just, off. I don't just take care. them off, Gregory. In fact, that that might bring that's Monty's glasses, and that might cause even more trauma. Oh, so why do you hate me? I don't know, Gregory. List off a few things you've done to me. Maybe you know you'll find a reason. I don't know. At least I'm not wearing blush on my eyes. See, he's already starting. Sorry, kind of walked into that one. Why do your eyes look like that? That's not guyliner though. It's like bright red. It's all smoked out. It looks like you're wearing blush on your eyes. Either that or you have pink eye. All okay? right, I'm leaving. This is gonna be pointless. This is gonna be absolutely- Your car's already broken down. You- p So, I'm sorry! This is a therapy session and Michael's mad at me, but you forced him to be here and broke his car so he can't leave? Oh no, I didn't break it. I didn't need to. Uh, uh, so, you're my only ride home. Yep, and Scarlet already came to pick it up. God- God! Wait, Scarlet approves of this, by the way. Why?! Because she's tired of you bringing up Gregory on your dates! Oh, why do you bring me up on your dates? It's kinda Because you're annoying! Am I the only thing you think about when you're on dates? <laughs> kind of weird. Okay, moving on from that topic before Michael gets the idea to strangle you. <sighs> um, look, you two, our families interact quite heavily. Mm hmm Because you're f best friends with, uh, with Circus Baby, and I'm her best friend, and you're my son, and she's an Afton, and he's always be around. Unfortunately. Gregory, you're not helping, and you're always going to be around. Because not only are you f brothers with Circus Baby, but you're also my new co-host. So, and Gregory's my son, so you're, he's always going to be around it. So, we need to squash this before things get to head. And you start some kind of prank war or something. Oh, it wouldn't be a prank. That's for damn sure. What is that supposed to mean? What's well, not a prank? Did he do something to me? Did he do something to Roxanne? No, I think I think he's scared of Roxanne, so... He should be. She'll eat you. She's not the first animatronic to threaten me. Won't be the last. Glamrock Chica already threatened to eat his legs. Monty already threatened to kill me. Chica's already threatened to want me eat my leg. I think I'm the only one nice to you. Uh, you have your moments. <sighs> Just saying, it's the truth. Is this therapy between you two or us two? You two. Because honestly, whenever he, you get brought up in anything, did you know he laughs? He laughs and says, finally, whenever you get hurt or eaten in an animation. Oh my gosh. It's great. You really hate me that much? Yes! Blushy McGee. I have no idea what that means. That makes sense. Okay, so I have left him in charge of some of our channel's thumbnails, right? Mm hmm Yeah, he has not been kind to you in the thumbnails he's had to put you in. It's okay, life hasn't been kind to him, so... Oh, God. <sighs> you know, I'm really thinking about just walking home. It's hot out. Not only is it hot out, we're more than 20 miles from our home. I would rather walk home and collapse than be in this room. Uh, yeah, Gregory? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going through my phone right now. I'm sending you one of the, uh, 
the thumbnails that he designed. I need you to uh, tell me how this thumbnail of his that he designed of you makes you feel. Oh, I'm being eaten by Monty. Yes, because Monty bit you several times and I thought it was funny. You know, I think it's funny the fact that you're so bland that the other day when I went over to Circus Baby and Freddy's house, you were apparently there, but you were wearing a gray shirt, so you were unrecognizable. That's because you guys are stupid! Uh, I don't think so. I think that's more of a you problem. I think if I'm everyone didn't recognize you, then it was more of a you problem. You think the bus runs this time of day? The dry cleaner guy didn't even recognize you. What is wrong with you people? Well, I have a list. Where do you want me to start? My mom possessed me with my grandpa. Um, I woke up one day and I was inside of his stomach. Still not convinced that you weren't trying to eat me, but you know, here we are like five years later, so. Okay, one, you snuck in for the sake of the game. Two, you are, you had full anatomy control of me. You really think that you didn't enjoy having me run into walls constantly. No, that was definitely really funny. Uh, this is such a waste of time. Michael, I kind of want to see you run into a wall. I'm about to. By the way, what's your gripe with Cassie as well, actually? Wait, you have a gripe with Cassie too? What did she do? I feel like you'd like Cassie. She's really smart. Yeah, but guess who she hangs out with? You. And it's starting to rub off. Oh, well. And also, okay, okay. Let me ask you this. Did this all start when him and Cassie broke into your house? Yes! I mean, even before that. I mean, you had a lot of weird stuff going on in there. It's my own house. Okay, and in your lab, you had a weird amalgamation animatronic that we had. Roxanne and I had to put that thing out of its misery because it was so awful. Is that the same one that escaped and messed with me in Circus Baby? No, it's a different one. You had two amalgamations? <laughs> I had way more than two. That's nice. Look, you get bored sometimes and you put things together. What do you want from me? More of Michael Eifens rejected animatronics coming soon, I guess. Anyway, you, Gregory, I think in order to, for this to start healing, for this to start going away. That's a good, that's a good start. You can go away. It'd be a perfect fix. I think you need to apologize to Michael for him to apologize to you after. Apologize to him for what? Breaking into my house, constantly getting involved in my life when you shouldn't. Sorry, your life is so hectic. I'm walking home. Michael. Is the door locked from the outside? <clears throat> it shouldn't be. It's locked, and I'm not the one that locked it. Oh my, okay. Scarlet! Wonder where I put the key. Gregory! Hmm? I'm about to Homer Simpson him in about five seconds. Wait, I think I might have actually left it out in the lobby. Look, I'll break the door in a moment, Michael, but that doesn't mean that you need me to get out then. <clears throat> okay, okay, let's, let's try an exercise. Okay, Gregory, get up. <sighs> okay. Okay, now, Michael. What? Gregory's in front of you, and I need you to express how he makes you feel, how he's made you feel, and how you guys could work on fixing your relationship. What relationship? Yeah, friendship. Honestly. What friendship? What friendship? Oh my god. Just do it. At least there's something we can agree on. Uh, I don't know. You make me angry. You make me want to punch you in the face constantly. You annoy me. Your entire existence is an annoying existence to my existence. That didn't even make sense. That really didn't. Wait, wait, wait. Common ground. Okay, there has to be a few things you two can agree on, actually. Um. Like what? You both think I'm annoying at times. Yeah, that's true. But you, yeah. you are. I mean, I'm I'm annoying to him because I need to be his dad. Can you agree that he's bald? Can't agree with that. Oh, I'm you're not kind of almost bald, bald too. I think your hairline's li like receding you're literally really fast. Bald. Ooh, don't give me that side eye. Ew! <gasps> Stop! <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, you both don't like William. Oh, I wonder he's a why. Literal child murderer. I'd hope I wonder not. why. I wonder where my two siblings are that aren't even in this room right now. Oh, that's another thing. You both care greatly for your you your younger siblings like uh you, they're your best friends right gregory mm-hmm yeah they're my best friends it's not a competition i didn't say it was a competition it made it sound like a competition it sounds like a you problem why do you always look so miserable me oh him <sighs> sorry i'm used to people bashing me so why is your finger doing that ew stop touching sorry. me 
I wasn't touching you. I was looking at your weird, really long pointer finger. <laughs> anyway, uh, what's another common ground that you guys can agree on? Uh, th th you guys both like robots and technology. Again, wonder why. Freddy, I feel like this isn't really doing very much. No, and it's not like I can make you guys agree that you guys both like the same video game or something. What video games do you like? Uh. Do you play Fortnite? I do. I feel like I could kick your butt in Fortnite. I feel like I could destroy you in Fortnite. Oh my god. Wait, maybe you guys could play Fortnite together. Maybe that, mm. I don't know, maybe that could be a video for all. I don't know about together. I wouldn't mind, you know, kicking his butt. I don't know about being on the same team. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. You know what? You know what? Next video these two are together in. Gregory and Michael have to play Fortnite no, together. No, no, mm. no, no. I don't think so. No. Gregory, I'll give you an extra scoop of uh, of the uh, of ice cream of whatever you want if you agree to this. And Michael? Yeah, what? 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 What's, what's, what's so, so enlightening that you're going to give me? I promise not to interrupt your next date with Scarlet. That's actually pretty good. Maybe he could use some eye ointment. Look, if I if we I don't get out of this room soon, I'm gonna start freaking out. Start. Sorry. Gregory? Okay, you two are playing the Fortnite. Let's go. You let's go. Move, move both of you, and I'm gonna just. <laughs> yeah. So, so Fortnite is the solution, apparently, to our problems. Right, door's broken. Let's Fortnite. go. Fortnite. Ugh. God's sake. What the heck is this room? The lobby. Have you never seen a therapist lobby? What do you mean? I came in here blindfolded. Sounds like a you problem. Freddy, I want you to turn around so I can strangle this kid. Let's go, you two. Come on. Is this a bad time to remind you that you're being filmed? I don't care. Gregory, your eyes look freaky in this light. Come here, kid. Freaking brat. Where is he? Where'd he go? Come here. 